Today in Ethiopia, over a quarter of all households live at least 10 kilometers from the most basic health facilities. The cost of healthcare adds to the burden women and children face as they collect water and firewood in their daily struggle for survival. Those who will not survive are children under five. One out of every 11 of them will die this year, many as a result of condition that is easily preventable. Across Ethiopia, women and children are now converging where they can find affordable healthcare services within reach. They have heard that preventative health care has helped reduce infant mortality by half over the past decade. They also know that maternal health and modern family planning services can greatly improve the quality of their lives. Here most of the services are free, it's subsidized by SOS Children's Village. Because these poor people depend on our service. SOS Children's Villages is increasing to five the number of SOS medical centers in Ethiopia. Each of the existing facilities treat up to 500 patients every week. In Makale, Kuranyo, Gode, and here in Hawassa, mothers and children have come to enjoy good health. There are two types of service. The first one is preventive, and the second one is curative aspects. <laughs> Their measles and polio vaccinations will ensure that these children will not run the risk faced by almost a quarter of Ethiopia's children, who are not immunized. Inpatient, maternity and ambulance services are provided, while maternal and pediatric services are available on an outpatient basis. Blood testing, stool examination and urine analysis are among the most common tests undertaken in the laboratory. Tests are conducted to identify diverse viruses and bacteria. Protozoans that cause Giardia are identified at an early stage, something that is crucial to prevent the onset of diarrhea, a major contributor to infant mortality. A consistent supply of adequate and affordable drugs dispensed by experts is a vital component in the process. Experience has shown that women who attend SOS medical centers communicate critical health education messages to others in their home villages. The team capitalizes on this. At every opportunity information is shared and discussion encouraged. Today's issues range from family planning to the link between poor hygiene and typhoid. Most people come to use family planning. Because they are poor, they cannot support their family, no? The women are keen to engage and learn. As a result, the spread of communicable disease is being prevented and nutritional issues are in decline. Despite the fact that two-thirds of women here are illiterate, the positive health messages they carry home is greatly helping to improve the lives of more and more women and children. <laughs>